Hello everyone and welcome to Whispering Wind Psychic Cowgirl. My name is Reverend Melissa Kennedy and I am going to do a little mini reading for the upcoming week and I am recording this on January 22nd, 2024. But remember, if you are drawn to this video, it doesn't matter when you find it, trust and know that there is a message here for you. That's how energy works. So today I pulled, I felt the animal kingdom calling um, for our messages today. So I pulled some cards from um, my animal spirit deck and also um, my spirit of the animals oracle. And so coming in this morning, we have the vulture and um, there's a lot of movement here with this card with the vulture, we don't think of vultures in a very um, positive light. When we see them, they conjure up visions of, at least in America, you know, of the Wild West. And um, if you were out stranded somewhere, they'd be circling overhead, just waiting to devour your cor your carcass or your remains, right? So they, they just um, bring up this awful image um, in our human experience, in the human psyche. But remember that everything has its place. Every animal, every creature, every being. There is order and the vulture serves a very um, beneficial purpose in life. And that is to clean up um, things, you know, remains of animals that do die in the wild um, and it helps in the eco ecosystem and clearing those, um, those things up. They feed on things that are unsavory to, you know, to us, really, you know, or any other um, animal. So, but the message is um, perhaps that the vulture is the most misunderstood creature of all. This intriguing bird balances our ecosystem and prevents the spread of disease. It does the dirty work that no one else wants to do and cleans up our messes. The vulture appears when there's a situation that needs to be purified or brought back into balance. Remember, the vulture is greatly undervalued. What you thought was a mistake or tragedy is a blessing in disguise. When in balance, it clarifies and reveals wisdom. When out of balance, dramatic and aggressive, to bring into balance, clean your space and sage. And so, you know, it is still the first month of the new year and I am tripping over some things in my space and realizing I need to start cleaning things out and um, just refreshing everything. And I always get that feeling in January. So I feel like the vulture comes in to remind us, you know, this is a new year. Um, it's been a wild start to 2024, hasn't it? And we are clearing out a lot as a collective as well. So let's just keep in mind that um, we are working on clearing out all of the old stories, all of the old paradigms, all of the old programming. That's not gonna go away until some of the old systems fall away and we revamp them and make them new. So um, yeah, so just giving some thanks to the Vulture coming in with that message for us today. And secondly, from the Animal Kingdom, we have the Lynx coming in. And the Lynx um, is the keeper of secrets, okay? And it says, take time out from the world and be the observer. Nothing can deceive you when you trust your knowing. You see others' secrets and keep them sacred. In silence and solitude, you will find your strength. And so the Lynx is bringing us into our inner house, you know? It's, it's inviting us to just be strong in the things that we know, in the things that we observe that are going on around us. And the overlying feeling and message for 2024 is peace. Now, this does not mean that we see peace out in the world, you know. Um, it's just telling us that no matter what happens, no matter what unfolds, that we can drop into that place within and really find our own groundedness um, and connect with that peace that is us. And we can say, you know, simply, I am not subscribing to that point of view. And that story is not part of my life. It's out there, but I'm not gonna let that affect 
my solitude, my inner peace, my vision for my future and the future of humanity as we move forward as a collective. So um, the links is also um, about invis invisibility, secretive, observer, a listener, awareness. It's, it's about that um, clear sight, how you see things, you know, clairvoyance, patience, um, a lover, a loner, ancient wisdom, and a shaman's totem. So a shaman's totem. So if you are a healer, call on the, um, the links to come in to work with you to be more grounded and centered and self-assured that the messages that you receive when you connect in for your higher guidance and call that energy down is the truth, you know? Don't go looking for the truth on the outside. Start connecting with the truth on the inside and let that guide you. And lastly, I pulled one more card for the overall energy for this week. And this is the second time this card has come up today. Um, I did readings this morning already before taping this message. And this card came up, Surrender to Trust. That is the card, Surrender to Trust. And, and again, it's kind of piggybacking on what's come in um, with the vulture and the lynx. And the message on the card says, trust yourself and your decisions. Don't be swayed by other people's strong opinions about what to do. Take action and be confident that you have chosen the right path. So this card comes in, um, you know, to tell us, follow your own path, be a trailblazer, don't be a follower. Um, yeah, of course, join in, um, you know, participate, but always remember it's okay to march to the beat of your own drum and surrender to trust, just trusting that everything is going to be okay and everything is unfolding in divine timing. So that is my message for the um, for today and pretty much for the overview of the week, you know. Um, remember, things are being cleaned up. Things are being taken care of. There are people behind the scenes that are doing some of the dirty work. We might not see all of the answers right now or get all the answers, but know that things are being cleared, things are being worked on, and Everything is going to come out for humanity's highest and best good. You know, um, trust in your resourcefulness and, you know, just tap into your inner wisdom with the lynx energy and just trust and know divine timing is at hand. A um, couple of announcements. So I will be starting um, our cheat sheet tarot course. So um, if you're wanting to learn the tarot in a very fun and new way, um, that's a class that you'll want to join in to. It's a pay as we go, and it is for the whole year. It starts February 1st, and we meet two times a month um, for the entire year. So if you're looking for people to connect with that are spiritual and they're on their spiritual path, trying to tap into their inner wisdom and get the messages for themselves. This class is for you. You don't want to miss it. It's a very creative class. We'll be tapping into um, each card and we will be creating a beautiful book for, for ourselves as a keepsake when the class is over. So yeah, it's creation, um, you know, live and we'll be, we'll be working on the messages from each individual card as we see them during class and how they come through to us. So um, go ahead and message me. Uh, you can message me on my website, whisperingwindpsychiccowgirl.com. My email is there and also um, a phone number um, if you need to connect. And I will be doing private readings. So if you would like a private reading, um, I'm offering 11, 11 readings for the rest of this month. So if you'd like your own mini tarot spread for the rest of this month, or if you would like an oracle card reading, I can do that as well for the 1111. Just let me know. Send me a message and um, I'll get you your messages. And that's about all. Um, so I'm wishing you light, love, peace, and blessings of all kinds. Until next time, Reverend Melissa Kennedy signing off. Bye-bye now.